ಮೇದಿನಿ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿನೋದಿನಿ ನಂದಿನುತೆ ಶ್ರೀವರವಿಂದ್ಯ ಶಿರೋದಿನಿ ವಾಸಿನಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಜೇಷ್ಣುನುತೆ ಹೌ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ಎ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ ಅಪ್ರೂವಲ್ ಏಜೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ದೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಾಸ್ಯುಟಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಿಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಯೂತ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಎ ಪಿ ಎ ಎ ಪಿ ಎ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಸೈಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ದಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಸಿಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಸೈಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಡೆಟ್ರಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅ ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ದೇ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಮನಿ ಟು ಕೌಂಟರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡಾಲರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ ಡಾಲರ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಯರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇವನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡಗ್ಲಸ್ ಮರಿ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಶ್ ಟು ದೀಸ್ ಡೇಸ್ counter these things in the same way that we on the decoloniality side counter these things with the same rhetoric they are saying that modernity is is failing their societies okay they are against modernity now itne saal baad after all these years now they are facing the brunt of modernity okay this is hilarious matt walsh ben shapiro michael lowell that are using these words it, that it's the modernity which is <laughs> which is the problem okay but anyway apa fda now first thing you need to know about fda is that 45% of FDA's funding comes from the pharmaceutical industry itself okay and the pharmaceutical industry is about 10 uh, billion dollars i knew that it was 10 billion dollars before the corona pandemic who knows how big it is today i haven't looked up the numbers as of yet because it obviously must have grown after after the corona mental health is mostly a hoax according to me for any one of you who do go to therapists i have nothing against you but i think all of you would have been better off just working out and playing a sport and if your counter argument to that is that when you are extremely depressed you don't have the willingness to go to sport um let me tell you that no one really has the willingness to play a sport or no one really has the willingness to wake up in the morning and work out or whenever you work out work out usually comes with some sort of overcoming of the laziness okay but obviously that that fight against the laziness is more for some people and less for some people and i will concede this much that some people if you let's say it's a group of 10 people two out of that or three out of that group may actually need a crutch to walk that does not mean that you hand out crutches to all 10 of them and make them incapable of walking or running that's my entire argument against the mental health industry okay now why am i coming down heavily on this all of a sudden today i'm heavily coming down on this all the time basically but we have other topics to discuss as well which is why i don't spend my entire time talking about mental health but i would if i if i could over 100 million in india now diabetic 44% rise within the last 4 years okay lockdowns obviously the lockdowns which were made to help save uh, people who were already had comorbidity or who were above 60 people who were fit people who did not have comorbidities people who did not have d3 deficiencies people who were under 30 how many of them died because of corona okay that 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 number is hilariously low even if it's even if one person died because of that that's obviously insanely sad for the family but as a society we have to weigh out our priorities okay but that that heavy lockdown has resulted in 44% rise in diabetics in our country at least in the last 4 years now data reveals that 15.3% of the population pre diabetic mostly youngsters i wonder why so when you are a video game addict and you don't go out to play this is what's going to happen you need d3 we need the sunlight to survive we need the sunlight to survive both physically and mentally the brain is part of your body brain functions on on good blood circulation good diet and good hydration just as any other part of your body okay so my most recent trigger for, for discussing this is a sister uh, came to visit she's 10 years old her mom passed away when she was young her father and her grandparents who are very old they are busting their asses raising that kid she learns bharatanatyam goes to school does not uh, has absolutely no interest in studying has no attention span cannot sit down to watch a movie for more than 15 minutes because her attention span is fixed uh, according to the real size of of social media right she just watches some uh, youtube videos once in a while and mostly watches reels even if she knows answers she won't answer them in class because she is just quiet she ca- cannot mix with anyone and why can't she mix with anyone because she has never played a sport with anyone i have seven friends who are suffering or who have suffered uh, with severe mental health problems sometime in their life and there's one thing common between all seven of them all of them have never played a sport growing up okay and i think it's, a, it's an absolutely a case of child abuse if you don't send your kids to play a sport 
especially today in 2022 2023 because in our generation at least as as early 90s kids or our previous generations of course when we were growing up even if we didn't play a sport we at least had to go to the school by by hanging off of local trains or buses right or we had to catch a bus anytime catch a catch a public vehicle it's always a hot country you have to go to tuitions or at least in the evening we would have a kick ass cricket match or football match most of us okay even if you did not play a disciplined and regimented sport going to a club or something okay everyone did that none of us do that anymore no no kids do that anymore they are all at their uh, homes and the tuitions always keep increasing and the school system education system is is absolutely a hoax to begin with okay you work at your corporate office for lakhs of rupees for 9 and 10 9 to 10 hours 11 hours and you spend almost as much or more than that in the school and then you come come away learning nothing almost otherwise why do you need to go to the tuitions again okay so that girl has been taken to the psychologist uh, when her father was discussing these things to me he mentioned mood swings i said that oh dear god do not take her to a psychologist he is going to diagnose her with a uh, with bipolarity or adhd he said yes we have already taken her to a psychologist so i said okay maybe she is a kid and maybe she will be diagnosed with just adhd for now because any any time you just step your foot inside a therapist office they are going to diagnose with you adhd okay they are that much of much of jackasses and they and they get get bribed so much by the pharmaceutical industry so uh, he said that no i am not really sure what uh, she got diagnosed with but she already got medicines she has already been recommended medicines okay she is 10 years old she has already been recommended two medicines two uh, tablets each and every day after dinner so i thought okay okay i'm still hoping for the best maybe it's just adhd maybe they are going to treat her attention disorder no 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 her father uh, does not know the name of the disease because uh, he's that unclear about these things because he's 43 years old and he does not uh, know the seriousness of these things and she does he does not know the uh, corruption behind these things and these industries so he gives me the medicines and says that check out what what are they first thing i notice on the capsule and the tablets is that they are fda approved okay FD approved, 45% uh, funded by the companies themselves. Okay, then I Google them. She is diagnosed with bipolarity and depression. 10 years old. Okay, now how did the therapist come to this conclusion? That therapist had two sittings with her, 10 minutes each. Okay, he charged about 1500 bucks. Did not recommend any diet change. Did not recommend any physical activity. Instead, recommended her to uh, learn singing if possible. Okay, this is when misogyny actually happens even by liberals. because i i bet you that that therapist is not a right wing hindutva fascist, fascist guy liberals are doing this 10 year old girl is being recommended that she learn uh, some singing she's going to sit with a harmonium okay i'm a musician myself but i'll say this a person with no musicians in your family and if your attention span is used to the instagram reels you cannot learn music when you are 10 years old okay not in 2023 you cannot that kid cannot be expected to sit at home and do sa re ga with with harmonium for one and one and a half hours okay that's impossible that ship has sailed so no physical activity recommended no diet change recommended she consumes dairy heavily dairy is filled with estrogen antibiotic and steroids which is given to the cows to keep the cow healthy to to make the cow more fertile all that is being consumed by the girl herself and estrogen is a female hormone which which screws up your mental health so she is under medication from fd approved drugs already and all this is re- the result of the american Psy- psychological association and I, how have i come to know these things first of all i'm th- i'm about to turn 32 years old and i have listened to hours and hours of podcasts for 2 3 years read a lot of articles read, read a lot of books read a lot of history contextualize these things after that i'm coming to this conclusion so i recommended uh, her father to take her to martial arts which he is iffy on and he said maybe we can take her to some ashram or something all of a sudden now uh, they are uh, seeking the help of dharma but that's hilarious anyway but how many do you think are uh, recommending these things to uh, parents of kids who are also suffering from these things mumbai pune goa chennai and and south kolkata okay or uh, even north kolkata these places are going to the dogs they will go to the dogs see these people hate capitalism the most right and these people don't understand when actually capitalism fucks them this is the most hilarious part people who hate capitalism the most support capitalism when it when it screws with them and their society and their country let me plagiarize uh, vivek ramaswamy a little he is going around saying that uh, our society today is like blind bats 
bats can't see they give out a sonar signal it bounces off and that's how they realize what's the distance between them and some other people that's what we are today that's what the next generation is going to be even more today and as for my uh, the video i shared even yesterday which is how marxism and coloniality fucks with your mental health they take away everything you can be proud of see individualists have this idea that you are supposed to be just an individual and not identify with a group or nation right which is easily counterable on many uh, facets but one other thing that they don't seem to realize is that human beings are in general very adaptable to situations and in general they mostly want responsibility they want a purpose that if you take away a purpose from a person they will suffer mentally no questions asked they will suffer you cannot help it and in liberal societies especially in socialist societies like india in in far left societies like west bengal everything that we could have been proud of everything that we could have shared a purpose with has been taken off taken away from us when we were growing up your nation is is not that great it's a it's a poor poverty stricken country your religion causes casteism and satyapratha whatever capitalism is is coming that is also bad so what are you supposed to be proud of what are you supposed to fight for so when you create a vacuum in your mind it it gets filled up with azad kashmir it gets filled up with absolutely factually wrong statements like that the, the patharbaz is in huge trouble in india and we need to speak up for them so it's a huge kami and mental health and azad kashmir folk nexus that we are fighting against but let me just tell you this that our mental health crisis is as serious as our patharbaz community okay because this is coming out of ignorance the patharbaz problem is also because of ignorance but this is going to strike even even religious hindu families if they are not careful and if their prosperity comes and as a result of that their children get more lazy and then they sit at home even with a with an even fancier household with even more fancier lifestyle choices with even f- far more fancier mobile phones and who can afford f- far more fancier therapists who get paid 10000 15000 rupees per hour the result is going to be the same they are just going to regurgitate some lines out of dear zindagi to you and you are going to sit at home consuming mental health drugs and as a result of that you will okay that girl already has her dose it dosage increased she's 10 years old it started with some 0.2 and now it's at 0.5 okay that doctor did not think that uh, okay it's not working let's let's try something else no 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 increase the medicine 10 years old no sports recommended jaya jaya hai mahishasura mar